Mona. Hey, Aria! Maybe we should wait. Hey, guys! Oh my god, is she ever gonna get a clue? <laughs> what a loser. Come here. <laughs> hey, isn't your dad's car? Allison's. Hi, girls. Hi, Ian. You still need help with your scoop spreads? I've got my stick in the car. Ian, what are you, her babysitter? <laughs> you need to tell your sister. Tell me what? Nothing. Come on. Outside. What the hell are you doing? She's gonna find out. No, she's not. I promise you, she is. Because if you don't tell her, I will. I thought you were my friend. Don't you get it? I'm trying to help you do the right thing. It was one kiss. Will you listen to me, Allison? Or what? If you say one word to my sister about Ian, I will tell everyone the truth about the Jenna thing. That's really hot, Allie. No, I know. I don't like it. I see you. Oh my god, I can't believe it. What was it, Allie? What did you see? He was in that tree spying on us. I am so creeped out. Who was it? It was that perv, Toby Kavanaugh. Were you sure? Yes, I'm sure. He was right there. I bet he saw us all naked. Should we tell someone? I mean, we could. But I have a better idea. Are we sure he's not in there? He's not, okay? You got the lighter, right, Spencer? Yeah. Let's wait a second. What, Emily? I don't want to do this. Fine, go back, you're on your own. Okay, maybe Emily's right. We should just call the cops, they'll take him in, they'll take care of it. Where's the fun in that? Girls, Toby Cavanaugh is a freak, and we need to teach him a lesson. If he thinks he can come and spy on us while we're in your bedroom, Emily, he needs to know that his little domain is no longer a safe little hideout. I mean, who knows what he does in there all day, that little freak. Are you sure that it was Toby? Yes, and it's a stink bomb for God's sakes. We're not nuking the place. Now let's do it. Give me the lighter. Friends forever. <laughs> Can you put mine on for me, Em? <laughs> You'll never know unless you ask. Now. Um, John, did you hear about the party at No Cons? I heard. I don't know. I, I was thinking about going in, so I'm just wondering if. You want to go, too, with me. Everybody's going. She's going. I'm going. Where are you? Oh, yeah, no, I guess I am. You just see you 
over there and let me take care of this? What did you hear? Nothing. Nothing. What's going on? What happened to Jenna? It's done. We were never here. Let's go. But... But what? What if we said it was an accident, maybe? No, we're not telling anybody anything. Damn it, Hannah. Don't make me sorry I ever included you in the first place. You know what? I have gone out of my way to bring your big wannabe butt into this group. You better keep your mouth shut. Unless you want to go back to spending your weekends alone, Dance Dance Revolution, and a jumbo bag of chips. Allie, stop it. Just leave her alone. I'm sorry, Hannah. I didn't mean that. I'm, I'm just freaked out, guys. This is bad. Really bad. I never would have done it if I thought someone was in there. I just... I don't know what's going to happen to us. Can we just go? Come on. Tell her what? Arya, you just saw your dad making out with someone who was not your mom. Y you have to tell her. How am I supposed to tell her that? I don't know. OK, but you have to. My dad. Don't answer. Well, I have to. He'll try and talk you out of telling. You can't do that to your mom. You have to tell her, Arya, before somebody else does. Then you'll lose both of them. God. You think I didn't see what was going on in there? It's not what it looked like. Maybe not to you. What were you doing here anyway? What the hell did it ever do to you? You've been peeping in my window for years. Never. I've never looked in your window. Well, I've looked in yours. And we're not taking the blame for this. Oh, yes, you are. No, not unless you want the entire world to know how close you are with your stepsister. You talk, and I'll make sure everybody knows you're doing it with God, Jenna the Jerk is looking at us. It's a very second string crowd she's with. Why did she just take her D-list gang and go home instead of sitting here and creeping me out? Jenna's here. Where's Toby? Out in the woods, sacrificing squirrels. Don't you ever get tired of shooting at the low-hanging fruit? Don't ruin a perfect day, Spencer. It is perfect. Friends forever. Yeah, even when we get really old. Well, well, well. Something new has been added. Noel Khan inspecting the troops. You know, you really shouldn't go out so soon after a boob job. Let them drop down to where they're supposed to be before you take them out. Prudence Finn had a boob job. She had to do something to compensate for being named Prudence. <laughs> Thinking about it, Arya? Thinking about what? Doing something like that to get Noel's attention? No. Arya likes them brainy. <laughs> Cute, rich, and brainy. <laughs> we get the whole package with Noel Khan. You know, personally, I like someone with a little more maturity. Not that Noel doesn't have potential. He just lacks a little seasoning. It's perfect for you, Arya. Don't be too coy. There go Noel and Prudence off to the Kissing Rock. People have been sneaking off to the Kissing Rock for hundreds of years. You're making that up. Just because they make it up doesn't mean it's not true. You go there with somebody, and you can feel the ghosts of the other lovers spying on you pushing you to do it. You know, you should never disappoint a ghost. It's just a dusty old rock. Who do you want to take there? What's so funny? Their names. Pip, Mr. Wopsle, Uncle Pummelchook. They all sound like stuffed animals. <laughs> Can't believe you already finished it. Want me to tell you what happens? I can make you a cheat sheet. <laughs> You know, you should really let me braid your hair sometime. I had a dream last night about Jenna. Emily, don't. OK, stop thinking about that. There's all sorts of operations and stuff they can do. I dreamt that she came back and she was fine. She could see perfectly and she forgave us. That's why I love you. You're big on happy endings. So is Dickens, by the way. Pip gets a cell on me. Can I read you something? I loved her against reason, against promise, against peace, against hope, against happiness, 
against all discouragement that could be. Did you get to that part yet? I need to find a French family that's dying to host a nice girl from Pennsylvania. Paris would be so awesome. We're allowed a bed, eat a croissant, shop for two hours, take a nap in the Louvre, eat another croissant, shop for two hours. Have you seen this? I got it in a French catalog. They have them in like every color. Do me a favor, hook it for me, would you? What are you doing? Nothing, I just, you just what? Just because we kissed in the library, Emily, doesn't mean I'm into you like that. A kiss is a kiss. I like boys. And trust me, if I'm kissing you, it's because it's practice for the real thing. Where are you going? You're my ride, remember? Uh, no, here. Oh, let me show you. Enough to make me want to puke. He's your sister's boyfriend. And he's like old. Well, it was nothing. Just forget it, okay? It looked like you were into it. Well, I wasn't. I hope not. Because if you were, that would make you a skink. <laughs> 